Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. Hope all of you are doing super amazing. Let's quickly find out who all are uh, with us today. Hi Diksha, hello Dilip. Hi Shrajit, hello Malik, hi Sanskar. So guys, are you all set? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Am I audible and visible? First of all, let me know. And guys, today I have brought to you an amazing and a very interesting session about facts uh, on some uh, facts about some famous personalities along with a very 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 interesting mentee quiz so this is a common session for all of you whether you're from icsc or cpsc or state board whether you are you know uh, moving from 8th to 9th or 9th to 10th or 10th to 11th or even 11th to 12th this is a session which I think you all should watch and you would definitely, definitely enjoy, right? And this is something which is uh, which you are going to need throughout your life. Okay, guys? So, are we ready to start off with the session? Does this make you feel excited? Hi, Nyasa. Hi, Yo-Yo. Yo. Okay. So, guys, are we ready? Are we excited to start off with an amazing session? And of course, we have a mentee quiz. So this is going to be real, real, real fun session. So how are you feeling, guys? Hi, Mika. Hi, Chavi Preet. Hi, Adil. Hi, Sneha. Hi, Durga. Hello, Harshil. I'm fine. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sachi. Thank you, Sonu. Okay. So guys, what do you think? Who is going to be our very first personality whom, about whom I'm going to talk about? Now, when we look at these fame, uh, facts about these amazing personalities, we also do get a lot of motivation from their lives. Yes or no, guys? So what do you think? Any guesses? Who is going to be our very first personality whom I'm going to take up? Any guesses? Nelson Mandela, William Shakespeare, Mahatma Gandhi. 11th English, please. Okay, 11th English, people who are talking about 11th English, this is going to help you there also. Okay? Okay, any Hitler? Oh, Baba, re. Nahi, 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 nahi. <laughs> no idea. Okay, I see a lot of guesses. So, kisi ne bhi abhi tak bola nahi sahi wala. If you, you haven't mentioned the correct one, you haven't been able to guess correctly. So, Anyway, you a human being. Yes, definitely a human being. The first personality whom I'm going to talk about is Albert Einstein, our own Albert Einstein. So what do you know about him? Uh, I'm sure you have most of you who are, you know, 10th graders, they have read, no, 9th graders have read a chapter, an entire chapter about Albert Einstein, truly beautiful mind, right? So how many of you admire this famous personality called Albert Einstein who are uh, for so many of you want to become a scientist like Albert Einstein right so Albert Einstein is not just a famous scientist you all know he is a great human being as well so are you excited are you excited what is uh, yes definitely we will have a mentee session so please be very thorough with the session listen to the session very carefully okay yes Shweta ma'am, eminent personality. Are. <laughs> right. So, hi Mishti, how sweet name. Okay. So, the first fact about Albert Einstein that I don't know how many of you know about this, but Albert Einstein was offered presidency of Israel, but he denied it. How many of you knew this? Knew this? Albert Einstein was offered presidency of Israel, but he denied it. Anybody who knew this already? Thank you, Shruti. Okay, so this is the very first fact about Albert Einstein. Hi, Hamsa, the blogger. Are, thank you, Sakshi. <laughs> right. Do you like Mishti Doi? Ha, ha. Of course, I like. I'm from West Bengal. How can I not like Mishti Doi? Next fact, next interesting fact about Albert Einstein is he was a voracious reader. Kuch seek lo. Learn from him. He was a great scientist and he was a voracious reader at the same time. Right? And that that is what inspired him. And do you know, he uh, was inspired a lot by the Bhagavad Gita. He said that he, uh, he learned a lot from Bhagavad Gita and that is his source of inspiration for his theory of relativity as well. 
right so that is the importance of bhagavad gita and he really appreciated and admired it at the same time hi jayesh today is your birthday manaswini happy birthday many many happy returns of the day so guys also uh you know leopold infeld who was an associate of einstein he wrote in his uh, in his own autobiography about how einstein loved you know don quixote so this was his famous you know uh, this was uh, the classical tale of the chivalrous knight i'm sure most of you have heard this right so uh, this is what he his associate also said so he was a voracious reader so guys most of you think that okay i will be taking up a different stream so i do not need to read i do not need english so that is a wrong idea learn from einstein why did he become so famous because he was an all rounder i mean he was as much a genius as a scientist as he was a great reader right and yes uh even if you let, let, let's say you become a great scientist but how are you going to publish your work how are you going to talk about your work if you don't uh, if you don't you know know the correct use of language so how would you know the correct use of language only and only if you read so start reading guys take inspiration from your um, you know uh, albert einstein i'm sure most of you are going to follow the footsteps of albert einstein yes or no you saw my driving video very good ha happy ram navmi to all happy ram navmi to all yes yes hi ananya hi vinayak hi vidhi next one is a very interesting fact you do you know albert's brain or einstein's brain was stolen cut into pieces and studied to unlock the mystery behind his intelligence so all of you must be knowing that he had a a uh, larger brain than the normal size his brain was larger than the normal size how many of you know this how many of you know this when you read you tend to sleep <laughs> okay so i will be uh, talking about that also how can you read how can you become a good reader i'll be talking about that as well right so please do uh do let me know how many of you ninth graders would know definitely that albert einstein had a huge brain he his brain size was more than the normal size right so his brain was stolen cut into pieces and studied to unlock the mystery behind his intelligence right and how many of you love to sleep like me i also love to sleep how many of you love to sleep thank you vinaya thank you so much hi prem thank you so much menti are how will i start menti if you don't read these facts the menti is based on these facts wait 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 booking dadi wait okay hi aninam so first tell me how many of you love to sleep so many of you very good even i love to sleep so albert einstein used to sleep for 10 to 11 hours a day good sleep helped him to stay creative so guys do not stay awake at night Okay, please have a sound sleep. Wake up early in the morning, but please have a sound sleep. And uh, the way I am telling this to you, I should also tell myself because I also have developed this bad habit of staying awake at night because of this lockdown, right? But yes, seeing him definitely, we are going to take a pledge that we will be sleeping early to bed, early to rise. Makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise, right? Okay, my cat loves to sleep. Wow. right chalo next is albert einstein refreshed his brain by playing the violin and he was a great you know musician at the same time so see an all rounder hai na so how many of you love music i'm sure most of you are music lovers so you could listen if you don't know how to play an instrument like me do refresh yourself if you hear a uh, good music i'm sure most of you get yourself re refreshed by listening to music How many of you do that? How many of you do that? I C C का नया batch बेटा everything will start. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. He was an amateur violinist. Yes, definitely he was an amateur violinist. Okay, so many of you, great. Yes, Shruti, you are correct. He left the school, the initial one, because he did not like its, um, you know, environment, very restrictive environment. That is there and truly beautiful mind. Next personality whom we are going to talk about is Maria Sharapova. 
uh, this was also there. I mean, uh, she was, you have heard about Maria Sharapova, I'm sure, in another chapter called Reaching the Top, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, in grade 9. So, the first fact is, Sharapova was the first Russian woman to win the Wimbledon Grand Slam. How many of you know, knew this? She was the first Russian woman to win the Wimbledon Grand Slam. How many of you know, knew this? One second. Right. So many of you. Very good. Very good. Very good. The second fact is she was the most searched athlete on Yahoo in 2005 and 2008. Right. So she was the most searched athlete on Yahoo. Okay, this is the second fact, right? Vinayak says me, Sneha says me. Okay, no beta, Ashish, I'm not from Darjeeling, I am from Kolkata. Okay, hi, Shruti, grade 9 English, yes. Mario, Ma, uh, Mario became the youngest tennis player to reach the Australian Open Junior Tournament Finals in 2002 at the age of just 15 years. So, she was the youngest. You people are? How old are you people? 13, 15 I guess, right? How old are you people? Jaldi se batao. How old are you people? 15, right? So, at your age. Hai na? So, definitely she is inspiring us all. She's an inspiration for all of us, right? She signed her first deal with Nike in 1997. I'm sure most of you like this brand right you wear a lot of uh you know uh, like you wear maybe i don't know what maybe t-shirt or maybe uh, shoes of nike how many of you do wear how many of you do wear shoes right right so she signed her first deal with nike in 1997 when she was just 11 years old just imagine 11 year old young girl signing her first deal with Nike. Can you just imagine? Right? Just imagine. Hai na? Then she spent 21 weeks at the top of the world rankings over five separate spells. So this was about, these were some of the very, very important and interesting facts about Maria Sharapova. You would also be hearing about her a lot in the chapter called Reach for the Top that is there in your ninth syllabus. So I hope you people are enjoying the session with us. So if you want to join us further and gain 100% knowledge and 100% marks, you need to click on the link which is there in the description box and pin comment. You would get access, uh, you would have access to unlimited live classes. You can compete with the students throughout the world and even the replays are super interactive because you have the live quiz and the leaderboard even in the replays and you could download the content. I will show you exactly how you can download the content at the end of the session. Plus all the doubts are going to be solved then and there in the class with the help of our special class teachers who will be there only and only to solve your doubts. We have assignments at the end of each session plus quality tests which will be giving you an idea of where you stand. Plus, micro courses and crash courses are completely free. You do not have to pay anything extra. Micro courses are chapter-wise courses. So, guys, this is the coupon code. My coupon code has changed now. It is SWRE Pro because I am right now, I have shifted completely to this channel. Yes. So, session 22, this is the price. Okay, I will show you everything, all the features. I will take you to the platform. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay, it is 11.7 per class, which is really very, very affordable, right? So, even cheaper than food for a solid musty. So, I'm sure you should, you know, go ahead and get yourselves enrolled and have, an, um, have amazing live sessions with India's best master teachers, right? So don't forget to visit the link and use the coupon code SWRE Pro. And the next personality about whom we are going to talk about is APG Abdul Kalam, whom I personally admire a lot. How many of you admire and respect if Dr. APG Abdul Kalam a lot just like me? Blaze is feeling outcasted. <laughs> Are thank you, Vinaya. Thank you so much. 
Yes, Shruti, I am giving you general knowledge and at the same time, this is linked to your chapters also, which you are going to start very soon. Uh, so, we talked about, uh, you know, uh, Einstein, about whom we will have a chapter. We, I talked about Maria Sharapova, about her also we do have a chapter. And about Abdul Kalam, again we have a chapter, right? So, all these three personalities, we have a chapter. Okay, so, yes. Missile man, exactly. Most loved president. Absolutely, absolutely. Please, English channel pe wapas a jaiye. Yeah, uh, you can come here. No, rather than me going there, why don't you come here? Right? You can gain knowledge from both the channels. That is so very beneficial for all of you, right? Hana? Okay. So, the first is. Dr. Abdul Kalam held the distinction of holding doctorates from over 40 universities across the world. Amazing fact, right? Yes or no? Rocket man, missile man, yes. Right. Okay. On the occasion of his birthday, the United Nations in 2015 had celebrated to observe it as World Students Day. How many of you know this? World Students Day. On the occasion of his birthday, United Nations in 2015 had declared to observe it as World Students Day. Did you know this? Oh, Nidhi knows. Very good. So now you know, right? Now you know. Then, Kalam's visit to Switzerland is commemorated as Science Day in the country. May 26th, he visited, uh, you know, uh, to Switzerland and Switzerland you know, uh, uh, they commemorated this day of his visit as World Science, uh, as, as, you know, Science Day in, in their country. So, isn't that a proud moment for us? Because Abdul Kalam, an Indian, he visited Switzerland and they commemorated his visit as Science Day in the country on May 26th. So, how proud you people are as Indians, right? Are beta naman. <laughs> Okay, next is, he wrote a great deal of poetry in Tamil and was very fond of playing the stringed instrument Veena. So, just like uh, Albert Einstein, you could see that Kalam also was a great, you know, all-rounder personality, right? So, he was not just a great scientist, he was also very interested in literature, right? Because he wrote a great deal of poetry in Tamil, right? And also, he was interested in music, right? He was uh, fond of playing Veena. So, you see, uh, literature, science, you know, they are all go into making a man a great figure, right? Yes or no? So, that is why they are so much loved because they are not just a great scientist. They are good human beings too. And what is making them good human beings? The knowledge, definitely, but also the correct use of knowledge. And what is teaching you the correct use of knowledge? It is only and only literature. Otherwise, you people would become, I mean, people would uh, become like Griffin. So, it's no use of becoming like Griffin who had uh, the great, uh, you know, expertise, who definitely was a great scientist, but he was a lawless person. So, these people are definitely great contributors in our society. Right? Yes or no? Okay, next is uh, an amazing fact, which is Kalam missed an opportunity to become a fighter pilot. So, he, he had this ambition to become a fighter pilot for Indian Air Force. But however, his dreams were not fulfilled. His dreams were shattered because he was ranked ninth when there, was, there were only eight openings. Unfortunately, there were only eight openings, but he was, he had this, uh, he was ranked ninth. So, from him, definitely we learn that whatever, you know, even if you lose out an opportunity, uh, even if you fail somewhere, it doesn't mean the end of his life. See what he became, right? So, it does not mean if you lose one opportunity in your life, it does not mean that your life has stopped. Yes or no? Do you agree? Which one, Vita? Which one, Vikrant, you didn't understand? Are Preeti, I... <laughs> Which one you didn't understand? Yes, we have to learn to stay positive and see how great he became later on, right? And how loved he is even today. Yes? Okay, quiz, ha, ha, hoga. 
and now comes our favorite and without whom we would not have the you know english that we have right now so our favorite william shakespeare okay so those of you who are um start i mean who are uh, you know moving from 10th to 11th also william shakespeare how could you do without william shakespeare so the longest word now this is an interesting fact try pronouncing this word everyone the longest word used by shakespeare in any of his plays is also the longest word in the english language try pronouncing this word everyone seven ages of life yes yes definitely always look look towards sunshine great sneha very very positive thought most confusing person yes Ki uh, kind of correct you are correct so batao honorary <laughs> pronounce with me honorary capability to the me te ti bus that is the pronunciation right so this is the longest word which means the uh, you know the state of being able to achieve honors and this is this word is used in one of his plays called love slavers lost can you pronounce this you pronounced it correct you pronounced it correct can you pronounce it fast can you pronounce it fast I know you would pronounce it correct, of course, but can you pronounce it fast? Very good, very good. Shakespeare, actually, Shakespeare's language is confusing. Okay, scary, right? So more than another interesting fact about Shakespeare is more than eighty spelling variations are recorded for Shakespeare's name. So his names had been, you know, spelled uh, in eighty various. 80 various types of spellings we get for his name from spear to i don't know how is this pronounced right so these were the different kinds of spellings so we we have 80 spelling variations of his name isn't that amazing guys yes okay you are able to okay great nidhi great great okay next is Shakespeare only stopped writing his plays and began. Now you know you must be knowing that he was a great. Uh, he was a player. He was a person of the theatre, right? So he had produced a lot of plays, right? He earned his living even producing plays, right? So he stopped writing plays and began to write sonnets. Do you know how many sonnets did he write? Anybody in the class can tell me how many sonnets did he write? so he started writing sonnets when the plague shut down his playhouses so just as we have covid right now covid 19 locking us down similarly there uh, at that time it was the plague and because of the plague everything was uh, shut down the playhouses started to shut down and then he started to write sonnets how many sonnets did he write total do you know this one day you will tell students fact about shweta ma'am baap re i am not so great baba usha 154 yes 1 crore mishti is saying 1 crore oh my god <laughs> kuch bhi okay so one of his sonnets i have taken this quote from one of his sonnets i think it's uh, if i'm not mistaken 100 and sonnet number 118 or 116 i'm getting confused anyways the sonnet this is the beginning of the sonnet which is uh, you know really i i felt i really like this and i think you will some at some point of time and some point of life you will definitely uh, you know love this and you could definitely understand the real meaning of this and this uh, the quote says or the sonnet says love is no this is just a line of the sonnet love is not love that alters when it alteration finds how beautiful isn't it love is not love that alters when it alteration finds so this is talking about real love right yes or no in english language they create words yes yes i will be talking about that too that too thank you nitya thank you so much <laughs> right so see as you talked about the creation of words so here i am with the creation of his words Shakespeare has influenced English language a lot and you know more than any other writer in the history and he coined a hundreds of now familiar words and phrases which we now use in our day to day life for for example fashionable eyeball 
okay and phrases and idioms like in a pickle wild goose chase anybody who could tell me the meaning of these two idioms find it out this is your homework okay find out the meanings of in a pickle and wild goose chase and use it in a sentence okay find out the meanings of these idioms these are quite popular and use them in sentences so that your vocabulary also enhances at the same time theek hai hi naman no problem we are no problem okay so anybody who could tell me now the meaning of these words in a pickle wild goose chase menti hoga bhai hoga don't worry okay right so next fact is his longest play is hamlet anybody who has read hamlet we had it in our uh, college hamlet have you read hamlet if not okay did you watch the play called haider h a i d e r haider dekha hai did you uh, watch the play called haider no you should watch you should watch please do watch this uh, movie haider bahut are shahid kapoor come on how can you not watch how can you not watch shahid kapoor is one of my favorites i'm sure most of the girls would also uh, you know like i love shahid kapoor right kabir singh <laughs> right no 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 i am not talking about kabir singh i am talking about haider okay so please watch uh, haider it is partially based on hamlet of course there has been many alterations and many uh, much more creative and changes have been definitely done but the story line somehow matches with haider inspired by haider, uh, hamlet i could say okay so this is the longest play and do you know how many words it contains 30000 words can you imagine more than 30000 words and we were supposed to read the entire play in our college so uh, if you take up english uh, for your higher studies maybe you would be also but it is a very interesting play even macbeth macbeth is even more interesting than hamlet okay and the shortest play is the comedy of errors which has fewer than 15000 words the only play which has fewer than 15000 so see 15000 words you calling it short the shortest so just imagine right okay so i can't write more than 1000 words <laughs> right so and you can see guys angoor angoor is a very very uh, you know it's a great movie i mean it's a hilarious movie ठीक है इट्स बाय संजीव कपूर इफ यू गेट टाइम डू वॉच अभी तो टाइम है ना डू वॉच अंगूर दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन कॉमेडी ऑफ एरर्स राइट डू वॉच हैदर दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन हैमलेट ओके अंगूर यू विल लाइक यू विल एंजॉय बिकॉज इट इज अ कॉमेडी राइट सो फर्स्ट वॉच अंगूर एंड देन हैदर इज आल्सो वेरी गुड इट्स अ ग्रेट मूवी सो डू वॉच दैट बोथ ऑफ दीज मूवीज ठीक है एंड See, English is very interesting. You get to uh, get to watch a lot of movies, right? So, uh, and another one is: Can you read? Anyone from Bengal? Anyone who could read Bengali? Can you read what? What is this? Can you uh, read what is this? A Midsummer Night's Dream. No, uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream is yes. It's this. That is also one of uh, his famous plays, and we was. we had also read that in our college days right hi studious child ye kya likh rahe ho yes i can read but i want you to read nobody yes dilip absolutely it is bhranti vilas correct it is bhranti vilas this was by ishwar chandra vidya sagar and this was a uh, play uh, this was you know uh, during bengal renaissance so this was very very important play during bengal renaissance and uh, pranti vilas was also inspired by a uh, comedy of errors theek hai okay right and our last personality is sarojini naidu any work of sarojini naidu which you have read have you read bangal sellers have you read the palanquin bearers anything anything uh, any work by sarojini naidu she is very famous bangal sellers okay great most of you are saying bangal sellers amazing 
the golden bird right so sarojini naidu you must know that she was a famous personality during the uh, you know uh, during the indian independence movement right so during 1918 british and indian feminist and she was a feminist too right so british and indian feminists including naidu set up a magazine called stree dharma so she along with the british feminists both together set up a magazine called stree dharma at that of that point of time when the society was so patriarchal this was a, this was something which was really revolutionary okay so she presented international news from a feminist perspective okay so that time it was really really a great thing because the society was completely patriarchal the women were not even allowed to step out right so at that point of time this was something which was great and she was awarded the uh, kesari hind kesari hind award kesari hind medal right during the plague epidemic just as i told you here we have covid <laughs> that time we had plague now kesari hind do you know what is the meaning of kesari hind you must have heard this uh, the name of this award a lot of time but most of you must not know the meaning it literally means emperor of india okay and uh, and who was it awarded to to any person without distinction of race occupation position or sex who shall have distinguished himself or herself by important and useful service in the advancement of public interest in india and this was given by the british so she was also awarded the kesari hind award but she later gave up that award during the jallianwala bag massacre do you know this i think most of you know this right in the bazaars of hyderabad yes that is also a very famous poem by sarojini naidu hi san i have shouted out so guys please do let me know do you know this that she was she uh, you know gave away the uh, kesari hind award um, during the jallianwala bag massacre you have heard this up in history yes or no yes okay right and then do you know that in india we celebrate what we celebrate the national women's day when on 13th february do you know this you must be knowing international women's day but do you know about the national women's day so we celebrate this on 13th february to commemorate the birth of anniversary of sarojini naidu i told you that she was a feminist you knew it very good shruti very good so now you know right so that was acha one more point she was also famous for her nickname nightingale of india or bharat kokila because of her poems this i think most of you must be knowing right yes chalo are theek hai nitya of course hi ji i am not ignoring you nay malik i don't watch ipl <laughs> right so she became the first woman governor of india and served as the governor of the first woman governor of india i told you that was a great thing during that point of time so she served at the uh, as the governor of united province of agra and avad from 1947 to 1949 theek hai so that was all and your question for homework is one is to find out the word meanings of those phrases which i already told you and the second is you have to list five interesting facts about the personality who inspires you theek hai so this is your homework okay nelson mandela yes okay fine list five interesting facts about him and we would love to read all your comments so please do fill up the comment section with interesting facts so that we can share this knowledge amongst ourselves and get inspired and now guys yes your menti menti is going to start Did you like the video? Did you like the video? Yes. Okay, great. I could see so many of you giving me your favorite personality. Great, guys. Great. So please do hit the like button and share this video amongst your friends so that they can also have this knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Right now, you know I am going to teach in this channel only. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Okay. And now we will see. 
दी सेशन कहा गया मेंटी सेशन वन सेकेंड लेट मी फाइंड दिस आउट यस आ गया मेंटी ओके सो द कोड इज हां जी कोड इज वन एट सिक्स वन टू फाइव एट थ्री दैट इज द कोड थैंक यू नित्या थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू दैट मीन्स अ लॉट Yes, ICSC will start. CBSC will start. Don't worry. First, join the mentee, everyone. Call your friends so that they can also join this amazing mentee session. Again, okay. One eight six one two five eight three. One eight six one two five eight three. ठीक है? Yes, definitely. When uh, Vijay, I do read the comments. Definitely, I read the comments. Newton, okay. Please list five interesting facts about Newton as well in the comment section. Whoever is your favorite personality, do list five interesting facts about that personality. Okay. Okay. Chalo. Are we ready to start? Code is code is with a one eight six one two five eight three. Come on, I see 65 of you watching, but 44 of you joined. So rest of you, I'm waiting for you people to join. Elon Musk, definitely write about him. Okay, chalo. So are we ready to start? Wait, okay, Rakshita, waiting, waiting. Come on. Right. So here we go with the very first question. Very first question. Are 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 sorry sorry I skipped it. Why is the first question not showing? एक सेकेंड रुको हा डैश वॉज ऑफर प्रेसिडेंसी ऑफ इज्राइल अब्दुल कलाम एल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन और सरोजिनी नायडू लेट सी गुड आफ्टरनून युगानशी हाई नैतिक हेलो शशि अंजुमन इज सेंग आंसर ग्रेट Quickly give me the answer. Good afternoon, Priti. Hi, Kate. Okay, let's end the quiz now. Very good. Most of you have given the correct answer. It is Albert Einstein, our famous, the first personality whom we talked about, right? Let's quickly have a look at the leaderboard. So we have Nakshatra. Nakshatra is the fastest and he has also secured the first position congratulations uh, then we have abhinav jyoti sakura riddhi molik fan of ekya sir okay mishti joy shwetambari mata baba re <laughs> thank you shruti eva and netik great job all of you great job so let's move ahead let's move ahead han ji mahak taken your name right chalo second question on your screen how to join beta go to menti.com use the code 18612583 which of the longest shakespearean play tempest comedy of errors hamlet are comedy of errors do bar aa gaya okay यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ हो गया है कॉमेडी ऑफ एरर्स दो बार आ गया है सो बोथ आई विल मार्क बोथ एज द करेक्ट वन ओके सो डोंट वरी यू विल नॉट यूज आउट योर मार्क्स ओके सो यस हैमलेट इज द करेक्ट आंसर सॉरी फॉर दिस मिस्टेक गाइस ओके बोथ दो बार आ गया गलती से एनी हैमलेट इज द करेक्ट आंसर कॉमेडी ऑफ एरर्स वॉज द शॉर्टेस्ट प्ले वेरी वेल डन Okay, very well done. Very well done. Chalo. Next, let us have a look at the leaderboard. Quickly, let us check. Okay, so we have Jyotish now as as the fastest and also securing the first position. Tanmay, Shweta Ma'am, Stan. Thank you so much, Tanmay. Malik, fan of Rikya Sir, great. Eva, Nathik, Riti, Sneha, Varsha, Lovely, Mishti. Great job, guys. Great job. 
Let's move ahead with the next question. Hanji Vignesh, take in your name. Take in your name. Third question on your screen, guys. Koi baat nahi, Mishti. Which day is celebrated as National Women's Day in India? Feb 15, Feb 13, Feb 4 or Feb 2nd? Come on. Come on, guys. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Okay, cooking with Dadi. Noted, noted. You have to write about your famous personality in the comment section. Okay? You got confused between Feb 15th and Feb 13th. Wait, I just Feb 13th. Alright, let us check the leaderboard. Okay, so we have... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Jyotish again, then uh, securing the first position. Malik, Natik, Eva, Riddhi, Lovely, and Shruti. Mishti, Shreya is the fastest, and Rahul. Great job. Very well done. Next question. Question number four. Elon Musk. Okay. Shakespeare wrote dash sonnets. We had discussed this. 150, 152, 154, 155. Come on. Come on. Oh, cooking with Adi that's great. That's amazing. Definitely would like to know. Come on, guys. Come on. Are Google classes. Thank you, G. Thank you. Okay, most of you have given the correct answer, 154. I also showed you one of his sonnets, I mean one line of his sonnet that was beautiful. Great, 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 great. So let's have a look at the leaderboard now. Has it changed? No, Jyotish is again at the first, uh, first position. Also this time the fastest. Malik is again consistent at the second position. Nertik, Lovely, Vidhi, Sneha, Isa, Vishti, Shreya, Abhinav. So many new people also. Very good. Keep it up. Let's move ahead with the fifth question. Shakespeare was born in Dash era. What happened? happened? Ek second, ek second, ek second. I think it's a right? Why is this happening? What's the problem? Okay. I don't know what is this problem. One second. Let me check. Answer to Diya, right? Anyways, uh, before moving ahead uh, with this one, okay, I would like to once go through the platform. I want you to take you, I mean, I would like to take you through the platform before displaying the final leaderboard, right? So you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. Uh, I am, I would be so you can see over here. I'm <laughs> 
have a great life ahead and be safe be happy bye